I decided that I wanted to make something easy and something quick and also something that I think you all will enjoy. And that is a pair of leggings. What I love about this pattern that I'm planning to use is that for the view that I want to make, it only calls for one pattern piece. So you need the pattern and then you need some elastic for the waist area. The pattern that I'm going to be using is McCall 6173. What's really interesting is this pattern came out in 2010 and it is still going strong. It is still being sold on simplicity.com and you may be able to find it in your local store. The fabric that I'm planning to use is this cable knit fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. It is like a navy blue kind of color. It doesn't have a whole, whole lot of stretch, but I think it will be really perfect for these leggings. So let me tell you a little bit more about the pattern. View A is described as pants. It uses three pattern pieces. You have a waistband. You also have darts in the front and in the back of the pants. You have a mock fly front zipper here. And then in the bottom, in the pants leg area, you also have a zipper. View B uses one pattern piece and it has an elasticated waistband and then a traditional hem here at the bottom. View C uses one pattern piece. It also has an elasticated waistband. There is more fabric here in the leg area, creating a scrunched up look. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I cut out the extra small pattern piece. And for the extra small, it calls for a one and three eighths of a yard of 60 inch wide fabric. And that's what I thought I purchased, but my pattern didn't fit on my fabric. It's actually a little short. So for view C, which is a longer view, it goes a little bit beyond view B. Well, actually quite a bit beyond view B. And if you can see here, the pattern is hanging over the edge so it doesn't reach all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut it out until you know the fabric runs out. I don't know if it's because they cut it wrong or if it shrunk when I dried it. I don't know what happened, but I definitely am not gonna have the length that view C was meant to have. Uh-oh, am I even up here? Oh, I think I'm hanging off the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna have to scoot it down. And actually, it's gonna be even a little bit shorter now. So let me scoot this down a little bit just to make sure it's covering up here at the top. Uh, oops, I need to go down a little more. Doggone, I really wanted the long view, but now I'm not gonna have that scrunch at the bottom like I wanted. Okay, man. That's okay. This is my first time making this pattern, so maybe I'll just chalk it up as a muslin where you learn and then you go from there. So next time I'll just make sure to grab a little extra fabric just in case it does shrink. I didn't put the fabric in the dryer. I did let it air dry, so I don't know what happened, honestly. And I even measured. I went and got my yardstick and I measured and I was like, well, is the fabric shorter than one and three eighths? It actually was, but then I couldn't tell after I measured it, I still didn't know if that was a mistake of the cutter or if it was the fact that it air dried and it just shrunk from air drying. I air dried my fabric to prevent it from shrinking. So I don't know if it's possible to shrink fabric from letting it air dry. So it really could be that maybe I didn't get the amount of fabric that I actually paid for. Oh, well. It's still longer than view B. So it might be like, I don't know, what is this? Maybe two and a half or three inches longer than view B would be. So maybe I'll still get some scrunch. 
<laughs> just not as much as I want it to have. Oh, I just love this cable knit fabric. So these are the two legs and I have the right side facing up. So I'm going to fold the legs over like this. I already did this one. And then I'm just gonna sew this down, sew that down, and then put one leg inside the other. Make sure the right sides are together. Sew the crotch seam and put the elastic. Easy peasy. I absolutely love the way that these turned out. So I think these will be great to like whip up as a gift for the holidays or as a gift to yourself. Very easy to do with really great results. And you can use many different fabrics. It turns out that my legs were actually long enough and I was able to end up with the slouch at the bottom of the leg anyway. So that worked out perfectly. I am at the LAX airport and let me make sure I have the directions in here. I'm going to, yes, I put them in here. I'm going to Joanne Fabrics because I actually want to make a top to go with the leggings. Oh man, let me see. Hello? Hello? You okay, though? Yeah, I'm you okay. okay. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just putting in the directions of where I'm going next. Oh, okay, then. Well, I'm just watching you, so Okay. Thank you Ooh. so much, baby. Have a good day. Be safe, okay? Okay. Thank you. Love, love you. Love you, then. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. So, I was dropping my husband off, and... He was watching me because I guess it was taking me so long to get out of here. Okay, let me get out. I'm just going to have to take my chances and get out. Okay, yeah, so it was taking me a while to pull away from the curb. So my husband was checking to make sure I was okay. But yeah, I'm on my way to Joanne Fabrics because I want to get some more cable knit to match the leggings. So I'm going to a different joann's than i normally go to so i'm just hoping and praying that they have the cable knit that i want to match these uh leggings so i'm excited to see what they have in store but let me go because this traffic is a mess i made it safely i'm in the city of torrance and I've been to this Joanne Fabrics before one other time and it is so nice. It's so modern. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside while I look for this cable knit fabric. was so big I decided to just sit down and pull up the pattern that I was thinking of making to match the leggings and I wanted to see how much fabric I would need just in case I was able to find the cable knit that I wanted.
if you're ever in the LA area and you want to come and check out this Joanne Fabrics it is located in the Del Amo Shopping Center in the city of Torrance and it is such a sight to see it's really big and they have so much fabric to choose from I really love it speaking of fabric I did find the cable knit but I didn't find it in the right color so I didn't get anything and I'm still on the hunt to find the color that I use to make the leggings out of and hopefully I can find it at the store closer to where I live I stopped at another Joanne Fabrics on the way home and I was able to find the exact color that I wanted and I got plenty of fabric to take home I use this vintage pattern which is a Vogue 9878 pattern. It does have elastic in the sleeves and it has this little drawstring. I just used some twill tape that I had and then it has a long collar that when you pull it up it can function as a hood which I think is a nice feature. So this is the same view but it just shows the collar down and with the collar up. Mm -hmm. 